Then you guys have to read that one. Mm -hmm. uh, e Ephesians. Ephesians, you ready? Yeah. Then I don't think Steve's got it back there. Bill, where's, where's Bill? I can't call the Bill. Bill's not here. Okay. Yeah. It says, he got up and went to Jaffa, and I'm almost done, I know it's Friday. It's Tuesday. As he came to the town's entrance, a widow was gathering wood. God did not say the name of this widow. He did not say how this widow looked. And he didn't uh, uh, specify what to expect. He obeyed the Lord. He went to Zarephath. As soon as he got there, he said, it says, he got up and went to Zarephath. As he came to the town's entrance, a widow was gathering wood. He called to her and said, uh, please bring me a drink of wood. As she was going to get it, he called her again and said, Please bring me a piece of bread too. Now you do that today. Especially if you don't know her. Janet, what would you say to a stranger that came and asked you for water? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, oh, bring me some food as well. You know? I mean, when we love the Lord, you'll say, I mean, we love God, we would do it. But if we don't have the Lord, we would say, see, that's the same way you came, it's the same way you're going to go. Yeah. See ya. But you know, it, shows, it shows about, it talks about the love of God and how we should always be ready to give. Okay, please bring me a drink of water and also a, a, a bread. Verse 12 says, she said, I solemnly swear as the Lord your God lives. How does she know he was a man of God? As the Lord your God lives. I didn't bake any bread. I have one handful of flour in a jar and a little oil in a jar. And I'm gathering wood. I'm going to prepare something for myself and for my son so that we can eat it and then die. So think about it. I'm going to prepare this little hand of flour, bake or uh, whatever we're going to bake, to eat it and die. She already knew time was bad, no food, no water, things up. She knew there was, a lot of people were dying. An example is what's going on today in Africa. You heard about the, that, that drought in Africa and all these people are dying? Think about that. Okay? So, she said, I'm, we're going to die. But this is what Elijah said. Then Elijah told her, don't be afraid. Go home and do as you said. But first, make a small loaf and bring it to me. Does that make sense to you? She has a handful of flour. She's going to bake it for her and her son. But now Elijah says, okay, go do that. Bake it. But first, bring it to me. Bring some for me first. Is that common, Candace? No. You and your son, your, your kids, the only last bit of meal you have to eat and then die and, and here comes this prophet and he's telling you bake it for him first. <laughs> See, in, in our human side that doesn't make sense. But in the spiritual side it makes a lot of sense. Amen. Because, yeah. like I said before, whatever we give God He gives us 7 to 70 times more than what we gave him. Amen? Amen. So where the word of God is. Okay. So, then prepare something for yourself and your son. First for me, then for yourself and your son. This is what the Lord of God of Israel says. Until the Lord sends rain on the land, the jar of flour will never be empty, and the jug will always contain oil. She did what Elijah told her, so she, Elijah, and her family 
had food for a long time, and the jar of flour never became empty, and the jar always contained olive oil, as the Lord had promised through Elijah. Now these moments of giving, whether it is to the kingdom of God, whether it is to an individual, it's got to always come through a moment of faith in God. It's all about believing. Now, when Adam and Eve sinned and contaminated the world with sin, do you think it was fair that God would send His only begotten Son to save the world? And God was a God who also knew how to give. He put Adam and Eve in the garden, don't sin and don't do this and whatever happened, happened, but He provided a means of salvation and escape from whatever they had done. And then He sends His only son. He tests Abraham with Isaac. And says to Abraham, go and sacrifice your son, your only son. Did Abraham catch a fit? Did he uh, like start saying, well, this is my only son, Lord, but I don't understand what is going on. In the Lord, we have to have a spiritual mindset to understand all the things that God does through us or in our lives or our surroundings. Amen? Amen. Amen. What did Abraham do? Took his only son, told his servants, we're going up there to the mountain to sacrifice. But, he said, we will return. He didn't say, I'm going to return. God told him, sacrifice your son. He was going up there with his son. But he told the servants, we're going to go sacrifice to the Lord, but we will return. Why, why did he say we will return? Faith. Believe in God. <clears throat> Trust in God that he will provide. And when he said this to the servants, what else did he say? We will return because God will provide. <clears throat> and that's where Jehovah Jireh came from. Je Jehovah Jireh means the Lord will provide. So now it's not only that he's going to provide you with a turkey for Thursday. It means that he will provide all the days of our life until Jesus returns. And we will lack nothing. See so now, when we don't serve the Lord, we go through so many things. Oh my God. I could say so many stories about people, you know, and, and, and I say to them, you know, with family members, I tell them, you know what? If the church, being a Christian, is not easy, why do you think being away from God will be? Being away from God is no joke. If we go through hard times as a child of God, you heard the story that I just read. The two uh, uh, widows, uh, there. one of them, her husband died. This one is about to die with her son. Going through hard times. But through those hard times, that we go to as a child of God, we have the Lord that we could call on, and He always answers. We call on Him, and He always provides. He always makes a way when there is no way. He will open a riverbed wherever there's no water or wherever there's nothing. When Moses and Israel needed water in the desert, what did God say? Speak to the rock, and the rock will provide water to you. And did it happen? Yes. And now they're hungry and they're all that we gotta eat. What did God do? He sends a man. So the point of thanksgiving is really about not only receiving from God, but also learning how to be cheerful givers in the Lord. Not only to his kingdom, but to our neighbor, to our enemies, to our friends, and to whoever comes to you and says, give me a quarter of it. Can I be bold again? When, and I'm done with this. When someone is in the street, it doesn't happen much here in Pennsylvania, 
but in New York, they're all over the place. Homeless